Have you ever wondered if the start-stop system in your car is actually saving you money? Or if it's just another way for car manufacturers to meet emissions rules at your expense? On the surface, it seems like a brilliant idea shutting off the engine at red lights to save fuel and reduce emissions. But is it really as great as it sounds? What if I told you that this so-called eco-friendly feature might be costing you more in the long run? From hidden maintenance costs to frustrating delays, there's a lot more to this technology than meets the eye. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know the full truth about start-stop systems, and whether they're truly worth the hype or just another clever marketing trick. What is the start-stop technology? Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a start-stop system? In simple terms, it's a feature designed to turn off your car's engine when you're stopped, like at a red light, and then restart it when you're ready to move. The idea is to save fuel and reduce emissions, especially in heavy city driving where stop-and-go traffic is common. On paper, it sounds like a win-win, right? Less gas burned, cleaner air, and more money in your pocket. That's the way it's marketed to us. But here's the thing, like most things that sound too good to be true, there's a catch. And in this case, there's more than one. From the moment you start relying on this system, you're putting your car through a whole new level of wear and tear that no one tells you about upfront. So while it may sound like an eco-friendly feature, the reality isn't quite so simple. Let's dive deeper into what's really going on under the hood. Now, let's talk about one of the biggest concerns with start-stop systems, the extra wear and tear on your engine. You see, every time your car starts, there's a brief moment where oil pressure hasn't fully built up yet. This might not seem like a big deal in a typical car, where the engine starts up only once or twice a day. But with a start-stop system, it's happening dozens of times during a single commute. This constant restarting puts a strain on critical engine components, especially in vehicles with turbocharged engines. Turbos rely on oil not just for lubrication, but also for cooling, and frequent stops and starts can mean the oil isn't always where it needs to be when it's most needed. Over time, this can lead to accelerated wear on your engine, something manufacturers conveniently gloss over when they talk about the benefits of this system. And it doesn't stop there. The added stress isn't limited to your engine. It affects other components too, which we'll cover in the next section. But here's the key takeaway. While the system might save fuel, the cost could come back to haunt you in repairs down the road. Let's move on to how this impacts your car's battery and starter. Now, let's get into the other heavy hitters, your car's battery and starter. Start-stop systems don't just put extra stress on the engine, they also rely on your battery and starter far more than a traditional system. That's why cars with start-stop technology are equipped with special AGM, absorbent glass matte batteries and heavy-duty starters, which are designed to handle the frequent stopping and restarting. Sounds like a good solution, right? Well, not quite. While these components are built to last longer than their standard counterparts, they also come with a much higher price tag. Replacing an AGM battery can cost twice as much as a regular one. And here's the kicker, it doesn't last three times longer. Similarly, heavy-duty starters, while more durable, are still prone to wear over time, especially with the increased workload from a start-stop system. So, what does this mean for you? If you're planning to keep your car long-term, be prepared for these higher replacement costs. The savings you might see at the gas pump could easily be wiped out by the added expenses of maintaining these specialized parts. And the worst part? Most manufacturers don't mention these long-term costs when they sell you on the system. The financial hit doesn't stop there, though. In the next section, we'll talk about how these systems affect your day-to-day -day driving experience. Spoiler alert! It's not always smooth sailing. Let's shift gears and talk about the problems drivers face every day with start-stop systems. While manufacturers like to highlight the benefits, they often leave out the real-world frustrations that come with this technology. First up is engine restart delay. Picture this. You're at a red light, it turns green, and you hit the gas. But instead of your car smoothly taking off, there's a noticeable pause as the engine restarts. Even in newer systems, this delay can be frustrating, especially in heavy traffic or when you need to make a quick turn. 
For older or budget vehicles, the lag can feel even worse, turning what should be a seamless experience into an annoying wait. Then, there's the AC problem, which really hits home during summer. In most cars, the air conditioning compressor runs off the engine. So, when the engine stops, so does your AC. Unless your car has an electric compressor, which many don't, you'll find yourself sweating it out in traffic, all for the sake of saving a few cents on gas. It's a small detail, but one that makes a big difference when you're stuck in a hot car. These aren't just minor inconveniences, they're daily reminders that start-stop systems, while well-intentioned, aren't always designed with the driver's experience in mind. And when you add these frustrations to the financial costs we've already discussed, the promise of start-stop technology starts to feel a little less appealing. But let's not forget the primary reason these systems exist, to save fuel. In the next section, we'll break down the actual savings and whether they're worth the trade-offs. At the heart of every start-stop system is the promise of saving fuel. After all, that's the whole point, right? Shutting off your engine at stops is supposed to cut fuel consumption, and studies show that in heavy city driving, these systems can save about 10%. On the surface, that sounds pretty impressive but let's break it down. For a typical car getting 30 miles per gallon and driving 10,000 miles a year in the city, that 10% savings translates to about $133 a year at $4 per gallon. Sure, any savings are nice, but when you look closer, it's not as significant as it seems. Here's why. Replacing just one AGM battery, the type used in cars with start-stop systems, can easily cost more than $200, double the price of a standard battery. So, in a single battery replacement, you could lose almost two years of fuel savings. And we're not even factoring in the additional wear on the starter or the potential for other maintenance issues caused by the system. Moreover, those savings largely rely on frequent activation in stop-and-go traffic. For drivers who spend less time in congested city conditions, the fuel savings diminish significantly, making the trade-offs even less worthwhile. When you add it all up, the math starts to feel less like a win for your wallet and more like a clever marketing trick. But there's still a way to make the most of start-stop systems without letting them drain your time and money. In the next section, we'll talk about practical tips for managing these systems to minimize the downsides. Start-stop technology isn't the game-changing fuel saver it's often marketed to be. While it does help reduce emissions and save some fuel, at the end of the day, it's a tool to help manufacturers meet regulations, but it's drivers like you who bear the long-term costs. So before you embrace this feature, weigh the trade-offs carefully. And if you're already dealing with a start-stop system, use it strategically and plan for those inevitable costs. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Has this system been a blessing or a headache for you? Share your experiences in the comments.